What's up, YouTube? And welcome to a first look at one of my most anticipated games of 2022, and that is Deadeye Deep Dake Simulacrum. It's a mouthful to say, but this game is quite unique, and I've played the demo a ton, I just fell in love with it, at least today, into early access check this game out <laughs> the link is down in the description it kind of reminds me of hotline miami but with a much more sci-fi and hacking kind of take to it this game does hacking pretty uniquely and i really enjoy how it works so let's just dive into it i've only played a little bit so we're just gonna start this over Yes, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Time to wake up. <clears throat> you were recently in a terrible accident. We have salvaged your body and are bringing you back online now. A debt has been placed on your account in return for our services. One million. One percent interest will be added to this debt each day until paid. To repay this debt, please report to our headquarters. See you soon. So, it's kind of got this... It's a very simple style, right? This little creep, little person here. Welcome, hun. Please step on the red marker so I can check you in. Hello, hun. Are you the new employee? You tell me. Seeing as security lets you in alive, you're probably the new employee, dear. Either that or some sort of hotshot here to meet with the executives. I am the hottest of shots. <laughs> hotshot, hmm? We employ a lot of hotshots, dear. But hotshots always arrive by helicopter when they're here to see the executives. So how come you're walking in off the street, hmm? So you can call me a helicopter, of course. <laughs> Looks like we have ourselves a smooth little talker here. Take the elevator up, hun. You'll get your helicopter. Right. So here we're going to kind of go through a little bit of a tutorial. Welcome, Agent. In the wake of your unfortunate accident, our medical staff has reconstructed your body. Our financial office has placed a debt of $1 million on your account. This debt will increase by 1% each day until fully paid. So that you may pay off this large sum, you have been accepted as an agent under our employment. You will be granted Class C employee housing for the duration of your stay with us and granted access to state-of-the-art tools for completing your assignments. Type your desired code name down below to demonstrate your understanding of these terms. Bled. Whoa, my son is playing. <laughs> Go for that. I consent. Alright. Please approach the firearm in front of you. Okay. Compass in the top right will show us where to go. Is that lovely thing there? So we are here for shooting. We must reload. Ooh, that's a low, slow reload. Middle mouse switches to melee. Over here is lovely. This one, we're gonna learn to kick. Kapow! Compass tells us where to go. So now here's where this game really shines. We get to hack this door. So we open up our our laptop, and you can type, type in help local. This will give you all your commands. So the one you're gonna use a ton is NS, which looks for what you can see. Um, so we can see door one, and we want to go hop into that computer, so we need to type in hop door underscore one. And we begin to crack our way in. We have made it in. So then once you're in, you can type in help remote, and you will get a list of whatever you are hacking can do. So in this case, this door, we can unseal or seal. So we're going to type unseal, and the door is open. All right, so let's move to the next room. So this thing here 
is a node, which you can see if we type in graph. This will give you a network graph, kind of show you everything around. So in here, we are the local host. This is the door that we can hack, and here we have a node that we can go into. So if we want to check out what that node is, okay, well, that's node zero. So we're going to hop to node zero. And then we can actually, we could have gotten this from the other room, but if we type, if we type snap, our we can visually see what that node can see and what it's connected to. In this instance, we can see that it's connected to node one. Now this door we cannot get through. So what we want to do then is hop over to node one. And I wanna see what's over there, so we're gonna snap. Yep, look at that. We got a door. So, hop, door, score two. All right, so it's a door. Unseal, boom, I have now opened up. All right, now, so as you can see, I'm not, the camera's still attached, so if we hit SB, we will snap back to our AI. And that's the kind of shit this game does that I just love. Like, it it really, truly feels like you're hacking, and things can get kind of crazy. Um, like I was saying earlier, this kind of has a, a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It kind of has a Hotline Miami feel in the way that you get your missions you go out and you fight but what's really fun is like you can you can like hack into other enemies and you can take control of them you can make them you can befriend them you can pilot them you can make them disarm themselves you can do all kinds of different things it's just it's crazy um so for this i think we want to suspend is the command yes all right so we've suspended the camera so that the camera cannot get us now here this is our mission we are looking for this. And this is called the server dummy. So we want to hop server dummy. We're gonna crack our way in there. So we have taken that, so we're actually gonna scrub because we've taken a punishment. And so in this it has caused it's called the Dutch angle, and it has rotated this, right? Um, so if you type in scrub, you can clear persistent punishment. So this punishment would stay even after I leave. Um, but we have a bunch of data here, so we can hit scrub. And this will cost us five data, and we'll get rid of our punishments, and our system goes back to being clean. So in this, what we need to do now is we want this information, so we're going to spike it. We've spiked that system. We've completed our training. Follow the compass to the elevator and ready to go. Now we can continue to see what's around here if we really want to. Um, pop node, CC. Oh, I have to be in the line of sight. We've not actually seen this thing. Right, we've not attacked. All right, so. Okay, snap. What do you see? Ooh, camera one. Pop camera. See what it sees. Not much. So it says it sees, it sees a little creamer. So we're gonna hop over to I don't know the names. Okay. Um help remote. Now I don't know if this is a character, so we can suspend, resume, kill, befriend, confuse, or we can pilot. I want to pilot this thing. Alright, so snap, hold on. Boom. Okay. Okay, so this is a turret, is what this is. Well, this is the kind of stuff you can do. You can take over turrets, all kinds of stuff here, right? Um, so we'll snap back, suspend, snap back, but I've not. How do I relinquish piloting unit? Oh, we gotta write in piloting, and that's right. Okay. SB, I don't think there's anything else that that thing actually can see for me to utilize. So maybe there's no, no more. We'll go up here and we'll get out of here. Okay, we got a door to open. Uh, hop, hall, door. Unseal. I just, I love that. It is just so much fun. Like, I guess we could go out here, right? 
picked up a chiplet. So that's ways of um, upgrading our character. Word processors, huh? I wonder what that's like. Okay, word processor five. Uh, help remote. Docs. Read remember. Read remember dot txt. Okay. Um. Believe in yourself. Okay. <laughs> So this is our our apartment, right? So we got some chiplets. We can use these, but if we go to abilities, we can actually these are like different classes that you can unlock. So currently we have no skills. But if you decide to go into any one of these, it'll actually populate skills and it'll even give you perks. Um, so for now, what I really want, I think I am gonna go. What is an esper? Expand your mind, indulge in power. There's hackers. I mean, hackers is nice because be, I really enjoy that for this game. So I think I'm going to go with hacker. Um, so then skills, we have three that we can equip. Data scrapper, you have four data. The cost is doubles. So if I need data, but then the cost double. Okay, you know what? We're going to take that. We're going to put that in queue. Um, domain, add all computers within two line site distances in your network. I like that. We'll go shift. Spook, prevent a system overload. No. Interrupt all incoming hacks. Instantly hack and reverse all trajectory of all hackable bullets within the line of sight. That's pretty cool. Um, summon fellow hacker. Place an auto hacker that automatically hacks and kills nearby enemies. My little helper would be nice. You know what? We're going to go with uh, my little helper. And then you can even get perks. Um, it's like penetrator hopping the computer system instantly for one additional data. Discover and hop the computers through walls. Opening your laptop creates a sound reaching a one line sight distance. Kicking a computer reduces hop. Kicking costs it. ego. I think we're gonna go push that over there. So we have penetrator, which hop the computer system instantly. All right, so we are here. Mail. Welcome to your employee housing. Once settled, please begin working to pay off your debt. You can make payments towards your debt through the bank program on your desktop. Employment opportunities can be found via the missions. And we recommend paying off your debt quickly to avoid accruing interest debts during your time. We will add further penalties. Remember, we can exchange complimentary chiplet for new skills in the abilities menu. Be on the lookout for other items. Okay, and then here's our first mission. So this is a level one mission. We get $10,000 as a reward. Um, I have a little job for you. We had some data stolen a while back. It's stored in a lightly guarded compound. Why don't you fly over there and steal it back for us? First missions are always tough, so don't worry if it takes a few tries. Yes, your grenade should work now. Hold right click to use them. So we reply, slash and burn. And this is now on stuff that we'll be able to tip it today. Your compass is in the top right and points to objectives. Yes, it does. All right. We're going to head on out. Actually, let's make sure. Do we have the ammo? Make sure that's fully uh, reloaded. And off we go. So here's kind of the hotline Miami thing. Like, we get our mission, and now we go into a mission, and there's enemies to kill. There's all kinds of stuff here. So we got a data store, like, right off the bat, huh? Scrub that. Fuck. 20% chance to result, but we're here. So help remote. So what this does, can I spike this thing? I can't. But we got eight data out of it. And so data is used in hacking. Um, and then this is suspend. Oh, 
remote to suspend all cameras. And so if you look here, it tells you one, how many cameras are suspended, but it also tells you the cost of your, how much data it will cost to use any of these things. So in this instance, I spent four to suspend everything. So all cameras now are at least suspended. We need to get more data. And I believe I have that ability to do so. With a piece of ego. Yep. Um, so pop door. One farmer. Um, unseal. It's like, I can't remember what was it. I could just type in. Oh shit. Oh shit. Damn it. <laughs> that was bad. That went bad. <laughs> oh, data store. Oops. Oh my gosh. Fucker. 
to open this door. <laughs> um, hundred dollars has been taken. Fuck you, scrub. Um, help remove our snap. Yes. Nothing in here. I'm gonna be... Okay, that's what I was hoping. I was like, is there a chiplet? That's what I'm looking for. So you can destroy cameras. Ooh, what is this? Overlord. Oh, so that's like the that's the big computer. Has got no ammo. Come in here. And let's get the fuck out of here. We've completed our mission. I just love how chill the music is compared to like. Like I love Hotline Miami's, but it is a complete different. Like it's kind of got a feel, but at the same time, it doesn't. It's very unique. You've died, so we've added an additional one million. Oh, wonderful. Is there a spot that, like, shows me how much I still owe? I have, like, an account here, but it doesn't... It must be further in, like, the menus. All right, well done. We've completed. Great work. You got us back the data. So good. I've wired you some extra fun bucks to your account. Go buy yourself some goodies. I'll contact you again. Um, we'll take a day to prep for the next one, so just use some BBS mission. So those are... These, they're just little side missions that are optional. Got all kinds of different things. So like a spike for 10k, spike for 20k. Um, obviously, the more the money, the more difficult the contract. Um, church state of uh, Tukinets. Wanderless enemies wander the area. Church state of Tukinets has asked for an agent to serve as a remote proxy. A payment of 10k will be wired to your account upon completion of this mission. We will take this mission, and then after this mission, I think we'll just wrap up the, the game. If this mission feels too hard to come back, get different gear. Okay, so we currently have this equipped. We could upgrade it for 10k. Um, we also have guns, so you can upgrade your guns. I got a lot of guns. I was looking, which one has fire rates 155? Okay, so the drawing pathogies is the one that's got more. How do I inventory? No options, let's see. Grenade, skills, slow time and rank 15, toggle gun, mouse two? Well, that's melee. Okay, so maybe I don't have other guns on me on my hand right now. It says equ uh, let, let's equip it. It is equipped. But that one. That's what I want to equip. Okay, so it's got a high fire rate. Let's level it up. So we got that's our melee and stuff. So we can actually then also go into the shop and we can buy new stuff. We can get new skeletons, which change the way our character looks. So like I could be a ghost. Um, and these all have different things like high armor, low ego, average stats for this one, all kinds of stuff there. Um, different guns, different melee weapons, grenades. It's pretty cool. Then you come over to the wardrobe and like these are the things that that we have, so I could change this to be more kind of like that. And what's cool here is like you can even change the colors. So we can unlock the colors. Uh, I was hoping more purple. There we go. You can lock that in. Gun, you can change everything. You can change the shape. So we can have it 
all kinds of different shapes. Same thing, different colors. Same with your melee. We grenade that you can change color. It, it's pretty cool what you can do with this game. Um, so we are going to, I think I have to, can I like do something with these? Nope, damn it. Let me if I can upgrade them. Another perk, okay. Well, let's go do this mission. So yeah, there's a new character with their new outfit and everything. I don't think I'm hurt, but let's hit the repair station. I wanna make sure I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm not even sure what this like meal does. why that thing's moving the way it is. Okay. I wish I could get the graph to follow me, but... That could be cool because we could actually take that over and then have the turrets attack the enemies. Fuck off. Ah! What the fu oh my fucking god, there's so many turrets. Did I get the control point? I did. But I'm not ready to leave. Okay, so... Let's do hot up camera hub and suspend. Bah! NS, what's... I have no, neighbor, no neighbors, so I can't see anything. Okay, there we go. NS. Up uh, camera nine. That's the start. Right. There we go. Okay. Um, up camera hub. Suspend. FB. All right. 
right. Cameras are down. I don't know what the slug needle does still. I'm looking at my stats on the left and I don't I don't see a change. I'm not 100% sure what that is. All right. Fuck. Probably would have been better to have hacked the turret. Instead of the cameras, I can deal with cameras. Oh shit. <laughs> Mission was successful, but we died. So I add another million to my bet debt. Fucking sucks. I need to invest into some stuff that'll make me uh, survive a little better. Um, See, so yeah, if I come over here, we'll have the email that says that we have another task, so we got we got information. Um, corporation abandoned some data on a whole room facility, so that we just accept getting data. We'll do that on another time. But yeah, honestly, this game's a lot of fun. It's really unique. Maybe, maybe. There's a lot of depth here as you get into other areas. Like I remember, I in the demo, I got into a spot where I took over the cameras and through jumping through cameras and nodes I never even left like I I just left where the helicopter dropped me off and I was able to go through cameras and nodes and I got to this thing where I, I took over a sp specific character and I don't remember what gun they had but they were powerful as all hell it did not take much to take them over and I think I made them confused and so they just ran around shooting everybody and within like I don't know a minute or so it was just him and I and I then made him drop all his bullets <laughs> and I killed him <laughs> it was awesome <laughs> the game is really unique got tons of cool stuff going for it it's like I said it's got a very minimalist and as you can see a minimalist uh, art style but it is so it works. It works really well, and this is one you should not pass up. If you like interesting games that are trying different things, definitely check this one out. Uh, I bought this like immediately. The second I knew it was live, I was like, I, I think I had reached out to the dev a long time ago, and it's like, oh, can I cover the game? And I was just like, no, I need, I need this game, man. I need to support it. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed Deep Dead Eye Deep Fake Simu Simulacrum. I can't even say it myself. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
If so, leave a like, please subscribe, check out indie-gems.com, leave a comment below, do whatever you want. I just appreciate you guys coming and watching. And until next time, take care.